back guys to uh modding with me. So when we last left off in episode one, we made our base forge, our common proxy and our client proxy files in our little package here. So in this tutorial we're gonna add a block. To do that we're gonna make it into common proxy so then it can be work both on a client and server. If you want it just to work on a uh, client, you can put in your base forge, but this is for uh, client and server, so we're going to work in the client proxy. So, to start off, you have to type in game registry. Is that spelled right? I think so. Yeah, and then you want to find why isn't the scroll wheel working? Register block. And we're just going to leave that in for now. And we are going to come up to air. So GUI handler is and start defining our block thing. So we want to type out public static block, then whatever your block's gonna be called. So let's call it Forge TGN. Uh, now you want to put a parentheses new. And then capital B block. And then whatever your block's gonna be called, mine's gonna be called block TGN. And you wanna put another parentheses. <coughs> um, um, when you type it, type in this uh, block part right here, block TGN, it'll uh, have a little squiggly under it. You're gonna hover over it and make a new class. If I have that class class already, so yeah. Um, it's just basically gonna have everything that's here except for this extends block and this little constrictor and super constrictor uh, you'll just want to extend the block type and then put this little constrictor the first integer here or variable is representing the item ID the second variable is the item texture and this is the material and then yeah uh, let's get back to our common proxy. And now, right after that second parenthesis, you're going to want to put in your block ID. I believe the block ID can go up to 24,000. So that or 2,400. Not too sure about that, but it's probably 24,000. So let's make mine like 500. The first 200 or so should be already used by... Uh, vanilla Minecraft and then this number here represents the texture so this is a preloaded texture on the texture map thing I believe one is stone I don't know what all the other ones are so yeah uh, now we want to type out kind of material the block will be so we want to type in material dot and it'll bring up a bunch of little materials Let's make ours out of sand. Um, now, come on to this side of the parentheses, and then type in set block name, and then this is just gonna be a block name. I'm not exactly sure what this name does. I haven't figured it out yet, so let's call it what we called it there. So forge TGN. Uh, then we're going to want to uh, uh, put down how hard a block is and stuff, so um, you're going to want to put a float here, so 1F, I believe that's the same resistance as coal, I believe that F should be capitalized, now we want to set, set the hardness, and let's put like 10 D, no 10 F. Uh, and then you could put a what's that thing called? Semicolon. I think it's a semicolon. So now you're gonna want to hover over here and how do I import block? Import block. Which one? This one, I think. Uh, what's wrong with this? Um, 
Maybe it's block imported here, yeah. Um, and put a semicolon there. Save that, and now let's see if it works. So, let's open up a client, and let's open up a server. Now just wait until all this opens. Forge mod loader setting up our Minecraft environment. Five minutes, okay. <coughs> Still got a cough from like yesterday and stuff. Um, so, here goes the server. Starting version 1.3.2. Okay. <coughs> Had to cough again. It's just preparing to spawn. Let's wait for that to finish. It's all done. Then just go to multiplayer. <coughs> and we're gonna want to find out what my name is. Player one or eight one one. So we're gonna up myself. Player eight one one. Your player won't be the same. I think it changes every time you open the game. So uh, how do I talk? Okay, so slash game mode. Player, right now it's one. Will that work? Yeah. So, how do I open my inventory? I, oh, E. Then if we scroll, where's my block? Where's the block? Our block has not been added. Why is this? Hmm. It's very strange. Let's check for all the tabs. Stone brick, cobblestone. <laughs> what was our item ID? 500. Let's try to spawn one in manually. Let's slash give 500 one. How do I do slash give? Okay, so slash give layer 811-564. There, that's our block. I guess it's on the creative tab. So yeah, this is our block. I don't believe it would have a name. Yeah, it's just nameless. Uh, so let me get out of creative and we can see how long it takes to break a block. Quite a while, by hand. Yeah, it does take quite a while. Will I get it back? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching and stuff. Bye, people.